Is Blue Beetle doomed to fail? Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. This week on Super Tuesday, we discussed the Blue Beetle trailer, as well as the reception of Shazam 2 and the idea of superhero fatigue. All that aside, Blue Beetle is set to release in August on the cusp of, which is right after The Flash in June, but before all that is Shazam, which hit the box office and I think it redefined what a box office bomb is. I have not seen the movie and I'm guessing neither have you based on its total. The good and bad news is it's heading to streaming tomorrow, Good Friday 2023, which makes sense. It's a holiday. Throw it on your streaming service. Let the people watch it throughout the long weekend, Easter weekend. Maybe families are going to get together and want to watch Shazam 2 on TV. Not so much seen in the theater. Maybe you gain a subscriber, maybe not. It's intriguing because this is coming from David Zaslav, who doesn't really believe in the streaming structure, right? He wants, well, not that he doesn't believe in it, but he wants movies in the theater for a prolonged period of time. Shazam just didn't fit that bill. And the reason why I bring that up with Blue Beetle is Blue Beetle could be facing a similar fate to Shazam 2. The Flash is going to come. The Flash is going to be what it's going to be. you got the Ezra Miller BS stuff happening on the background. It hasn't happened for a year. Granted, it's been a year. Some people might have forgotten. But you also have the idea of it rebooting the DC Universe. And then Blue Beetle's coming up. But anybody that follows it knows that James Gunn coming in is doing his full reboot with Superman Legacy in 2025. Where does that leave Blue Beetle? Does it leave it in the dust with Shazam 2, with Black Adam, with Henry Cavill? We don't know, and that could play a factor in its box office. I thought the trailer was fun. It wasn't, I don't think it was as good as it needs to be closer to the release date, but it was good. It looked fine. It looked like a fun superhero film that I think entire families could probably go see, which you could have argued the same for Shazam. I did think it was a better trailer than the Shazam trailers that we have seen. James Gunn is very high on this look. And also Blue Beetle started off as an HBO Max film and then HBO before the new era believed in it so heavily that they promoted it to a theatrical release, which is where it differentiates from Batgirl. Batgirl was always made for television. So there is hope for Blue Beetle. But the thing is, are people going to go see Blue Beetle knowing that this could be a one off and it serves no purpose in the greater scheme of the DC universe? And I know you go see a movie for the movie, but superhero movies, we have been conditioned over the past 15 years that these movies should all connect. We've been conditioned that way now that superhero movies are all one big shared universe. And is that going to translate well for Blue Beetle after what Flash after what Flash is going to do with the DC universe and basically reboot it all? Are we going to buy in? Are people going to buy tickets? Is Blue Beetle doomed? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the masters of your own universe.